back to my channel. It has been a while. I'm officially back. I'm going to be posting so much content this next month, especially as we get into Ramadan. So stay tuned. I guess for now, I'll give you guys a quick life update where I've been, what this video is going to be about. Um, I have a ton of makeup on right now because I'm actually going to a gala event tonight. So I'm running pretty late. It's 3.30 and I probably should head out by 4.15. But I really wanted to get on and at least get this vlog going and just kind of update you guys. I've been doing a ton of traveling. Last year I ended the year with a huge trip to Morocco. And then two months prior to that I went to Scandinavia. So I just got in a lot of my traveling in. Uh, what else? Oh, I have a really big family wedding happening in May. Which if you guys have had any, family weddings are so fun because you're like so close to the bride and groom and you get to like have every single party and enjoy it so much so i'm going to be heading to chicago in may for that uh what else <gasps> i'm going to umrah in march i think like the second week of march uh spring break uh my entire family and i are going we're going with a group with umrah salaman's group from dallas and we are beyond thrilled i've already been to umrah twice before. The last time I went was actually in 2017, right after my divorce, and it was a very, very pivotal time in my life. And back then, I went with a group as well, so I'm excited to go with a different group this time. So this whole Umar trip, how it came about, was in January, my, uh, like, a close friend of mine, he is, like, one of the imams here in Houston, he was having an Umar trip um, in spring break, and he had told me about it, and it's like, you should join. His group is actually the group I went with last time in 2017. So I was like, you know what? I'm down. So I was booking my mom and I, and then the rest of my family found out and they're like, wait, we want to come too. So then the entire family tagged along, but his group only had two seats left. So we had to find another group that was going. And luckily we found Omar Salaman's group and we're so thrilled about it. So yeah, this has been in the works for so long and it's finally coming up. What else? Okay, so I'm basically just preparing for Ramadan this month. Um, it's February 19th. I have a really few busy weeks coming up ahead. My cousin from Cali is coming in from the 1st of March to the 8th visiting and then immediately after that on the 10th we leave for Umrah until the 19th and then when we come back Ramadan is literally in like the, the following two days. So in this vlog I'm going to take you guys along with me as I prepare for Ramadan. I'm going to share my goals for the month of Ramadan. Um, some of my meals, like what I plan to eat. By the way, these are my pajamas and I like pinned it here so I could cover my neck. So that's why it looks a little bit funny. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get the day started. If anyone is curious, these are my pajamas. They're so comfortable. They're really, really soft. I got them off of Amazon. I'll link it for you guys here. It's like a normal collar, but I just have it propped up so I have a little bit more coverage. So cute, they come in a ton of colors. They wash really well. I have this in a black as well. So cute. Anyways, okay, I think I'm gonna actually pause the vlog here and then pick back up tomorrow when I'm going to the grocery store because I'm getting really late for this gala. It is so hot today and I'm in this sweatshirt and I'm literally burning up. Just got to the grocery store. Before I run inside, I wanted to quickly go over my list of goals for the month of Ramadan. I make a list every single year. I encourage all of you guys to make a list of goals. They don't have to be like something crazy or big. They can be very simple, achievable goals. And that's exactly what I do. So if you want to, you can copy my list of goals and we can do them together. And I think that would be really fun. Like if we check in on each other. Um, yeah, and just keep each other accountable. So my first goal is to read the Quran every single day. I'm not happy to admit it, but I don't read the Quran every single day, and I try to, um, but I'm not there yet. But in Ramadan, I try to read the Quran every single day. Second goal is to learn more about the Prophet, peace be upon him. I have always wanted to sit down and read the Nectar completely from front to end, but I just like make so many excuses and I never have the time. So luckily, I downloaded it on Audible and I'm able to listen to it anywhere at any given time. So I want to thank Audible for sponsoring this portion of this video. But I truly believe that following the Quran and the Sunnah and learning about the Prophet, peace be upon him, really enhances your connection to the religion and to Allah. So I am using Audible to listen to the sealed nectar. <laughs> So this is the book. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with The Sealed Nectar. It is a very popular 
a biography of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Um, I read this book, not start to finish, but bits and pieces of it in the past, and it's extremely beneficial and does a great job at depicting the life of the Prophet and giving great details. So I'm going to listen to this on Audible. I have it saved in my library. And the great thing is with Audible, you can listen anywhere at any time. So if I'm on my commute to work, instead of listening to like music or something like that, or just like letting my thoughts run, I can listen to my audiobook. If you've never used Audible before, I highly recommend it. Even though this is sponsored, I have with my own money used Audible in the past and I've purchased many books. And once you purchase a book, you can keep it forever. Also, if you've never tried Audible before, this is a great time. New members can try Audible free for 30 days. They have a newly included selection of titles, which makes the membership very valuable. And there's literally something for everyone across all genres. So whether you're into business, wellness, mental health, there are hundreds and thousands of titles to choose from. Also, members get full access to audiobooks, um, Audible Originals, and podcasts. There are so many podcasts to choose from as well. So there's something for everyone. I highly recommend giving Audible a try. I'll put my link here on the screen and in the description down below if you guys want to try it. Thank you again to Audible for sponsoring this portion of the video. My second goal is to learn the tafsir of the surahs that I frequently recite in my um, salah. I did this one year and oh my god, it was a game changer. Um, with my prayers, I was so much more attentive and I had so much more like kushu and happiness in my prayers. I was just, I felt so connected. So I want to do that again. So I highly, highly, highly encourage you to do that as well, especially if you're struggling in your prayers to stay attentive. I'm literally sweating. I have to turn on the AC. The next thing is to pray Sarahwi every day. Now, this is definitely optional, and I know a lot of people probably can't make it to Sarawi every day because of work and stuff but if I can encourage you this is what I'm going to say Ramadan only comes once a year and Sarawi is just like a once in a life not once in a lifetime once a year experience you can't do it every single day that feeling of community truly resides in the masjid so I really really try to go every single day it is hard for me as well I have a full-time job and I work like in the office so it can become very tiring but i do recommend it and then my last goal is to let's see what was my last goal i only have like five it's just being mindful so i want to be mindful of everything i'm doing throughout the day so if i'm mindlessly scrolling on my phone i don't want to do that because there's so many blessings in ramadan and i want to use my time to the best of my ability okay i just got back from the grocery store and make sure you guys everything that I got. So I'm thinking for Sephora, I'm going to have like a smoothie and an avocado toast. So I have protein and some healthy fats and a few carbs. And then for a star, um, I'm going to do like one a dish a week, meal prep it and have that every day. So either like chili is high in fiber and protein. Um, and then I'm also thinking like a tray of chicken and veggies. I'm trying to eat really clean, so we'll see how long that lasts. So for my smoothies, I got milk. This is the milk that I really love. It's a really clean brand. So I got two of those and then I already have frozen fruit. And then I'll show you guys the protein powder I use. This is a protein powder that I really enjoy. It's from the brand Kachava, not sponsored. It's just a really good blend of protein. So not only does it have protein in it, but it has prebiotics, probiotics, and all your vitamins and minerals for the day. Also has a adaptogen blend antioxidants um, it has super green vegetable blend it's just a really really good quality um protein powder. and then like i mentioned for my iftar meals i plan on making chili one day so i got some beans i got these almond flour tortillas these are really really good i don't do gluten that's the thing so i got these to make like burrito wraps in the morning for breakfast like you can basically just use this as a substitute for normal tortillas these are really really good i highly recommend i also do shrimp tacos a lot which will be one of my iftar meals so i got this this is so random but this is so helpful in ramadan get coconut water and make sure you're drinking it every single day because it will replenish the electrolytes that you lose throughout the day because you're not staying hydrated another thing i got for iftar are these falafels so my family really loves eating samosas and egg rolls and like those really nice pastries for iftar and I try to avoid those just because they're usually like high in 
fat and oils and just like bread and I try not to do gluten so I still want a little treat myself and I want like one of those like finger food items but picked up these falafels to have I think this is a really great option it is gluten free grain free and it has high fiber and protein which is exactly what you need when you're done fasting you just pop them in the air fryer or the oven for like 10 minutes and then you have falafel I think this is going to be a really good hack to have for fast, especially those days when you're running really late after work or something and you just need to throw something in, falafel with a side of hummus and some carrots will hold you over for a fire and then you can make a proper dinner later. It's the next day, I'm also really sick so ignore my voice, but I put together my Ramadan wardrobe. Essentially, these are all the abayas that I plan to rotate throughout this month. Um, all of these are from last year, so there's nothing new that I've bought. But I did find this exact same abaya on Amazon, so I'll link it for you guys. So this is beautiful. It comes in a ton of colors. I'm going to scoot back so you guys can see it. So you can see the tiered um, sleeves. I'll try it on for you guys. And it's tiered on the bottom too. I believe there's like a beige and a black as well if you guys like that. And then I have a white abaya. This is from a local shop and it has like the long sleeves. Um, and then this is from Demur comes with a, a tie belt that you can put around the waist. It looks beautiful on. I love abayas that have like these open wide sleeves. I just feel like it's so flattering. It kind of gives like the abaya a balanced look in my opinion. And then lastly, these are fairly new. These are from Niswa Fashion. This is a dress actually that I've never worn before, but I thought this would be so perfect for Ramadan because it's long, it's fully lined and it's long sleeves. Um, and since it's a new piece, I just thought I can go into the month with something new as well. It's really pretty. It's not a baya, but I think it'll be nice for like special nights at the masjid or um, iftar events, something like that. And this as well is new. It's from Niswa Fashion. It's this gorgeous champagne dress with the bell sleeves. It has a tied belt to tie around the waist. Stunning, and it's also maxi length. Both of these are maxi length. Well, all of the pieces are, but these two dresses in particular are maxi length. And I think that would be so pretty for a iftar party or honestly even for Eid. So I will link as many of the things I can down below. Okay, so ignore my hijab because it doesn't match my abaya. But this is the abaya that I said that I found on Amazon. It's so cute. It's tiered. It definitely isn't like the best quality abaya. Like um, I feel like Medina, Mecca and like stores in the UAE definitely have like the better quality abayas. But what we find in the U.S. is pretty much like around this quality. And I actually got this a few years ago and I can't remember from where, but it wasn't from Amazon. But this is literally the same thing they have at least on the picture. So I'm going to link it for you guys. I do think it's really, really pretty because it's tiered um, and it flows beautifully. And I like that it's open front. So I just like wear my pajamas. I normally wear all white underneath and I just like go. But thought this was a good option. If you're on a pinch and looking for an abaya for Ramadan, these come in a ton of colors. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it for my vlog. I'm going to end it here. As you guys can tell, I'm pretty sick. So I need to go to the doctors. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Happy Ramadan. I hope you guys have a beautiful Ramadan. I will catch you guys when I'm back from Umrah. Bye.